Hi, my name is Nathan Hardy, and I'm a licensed marriage and family therapist and assistant professor at Oklahoma State University. And I'm Candice Meyer. I'm also a licensed marriage and family therapist and assistant professor here at the University of Wisconsin South. We are here to share some results from our paper entitled Couple Teletherapy in the Era of COVID-19, Experiences and Recommendations. Due to the unprecedented COVID-19 pandemic, therapists have waded through uncharted waters with many therapists transitioning couples to online telehealth for the first time. Being couples therapists ourselves, we wanted to explore the experiences of therapists making this transition to expand on the perceived challenges, benefits, and recommendations for best practice. We began recruiting participants in mid-April, shortly after the COVID-19 lockdown was enacted across the United States, and we closed our recruitment in mid-May. 58 couple therapists completed the survey. Our mixed methods findings indicated that participants had a, had a positive experience with teletherapy. In fact, 74% were at least slightly likely to continue providing teletherapy even after the pandemic. Our participants appreciated the flexibility and convenience of teletherapy and being able to continue their care for their, these couples. However, participants indicated several challenges with teletherapy, including client discomfort, technology connection, clinician fatigue, conflict management, and ethical dilemmas. Therapists recommend, recommended being updated with current telehealth laws, having physical and technological structures in place, finding ways to generate focus and presence, and interrupting conflict effectively with their couples. Some clinicians indicated no challenges with teletherapy, while others could see no perceivable advantages. Therapists also reported variability in their client couples. Some wanted to continue services online, while others preferred to wait until the pandemic is over. Some therapists indicated that they would not see couples with certain issues such as trauma history, substance abuse, severe psychopathology, situational couple violence, and suicidal ideation. Ethical concerns around these areas will need to be addressed as couples continue to wade through the, these problems during the pandemic. Future trainings will be important in leveraging the advantages, addressing the challenges, and disseminating best practices. Future research should consider the long-term effects and experiences of providing couple teletherapy during and after the COVID-19 pandemic. Research will also need to pay careful attention to the consumer experience of couple teletherapy. We hope you enjoy our article.